Hey guys, welcome back to another quick tip. This one is in Luminar Neo, and today I'm talking about balancing the light and a great visual indicator that you can use to help you do that. Here's a photo, and this happens quite often, especially in lower light, like sunset, where your, uh, your foreground, for lack of a better word, can be dark, and the sky, being the source of the light, is of course going to be brighter and a lot of people look at the histogram and you can tell visually by looking at the histogram that okay there's a lot of stuff in shadow and it's also quite obvious looking at the photo and there's some stuff that's kind of in highlights and so what often happens is i'll come in and i'll, I'll say well i need to add some contrast but i want to pull on the highlights but i want to lift the shadows um but the challenge is it can be hard to know how far to go with these tools and i can't really tell by looking at it like is it blown out up here in the sky is this completely black here and so there's an easy way to get a visual representation of that and that is hitting the j key so if you hit the j key you get this overlay that's a visual indicator of uh, what's blown out. So anything in red is completely blown out and anything highlighted in blue is basically completely black. And so this is a great visual indicator to help you adjust contrast, highlights and shadows, which of course impact contrast and balance that light out. So this is a great way to get things done. You might look at this and think, okay, well I do want some contrast, but you know, as you increase contrast, of course, the difference between the dark and the bright those um, overlays become broader and broader across the photo. In other words, more red and more blue because you're increasing contrast. You're creating more of a difference between the bright and the dark. What I would normally do is say, I like to come in and add a little bit of contrast. I don't want to add too much in the beginning. I want to use this overlay as a guide. So as I pull down the highlights, you can see I'm getting less and less red. And personally, like I'm at a negative 100 already. I don't mind a little bit of that red there. And as I come lift the shadows, uh, I'm gonna do something similar, which is I'm gonna leave just a little bit of blue. I think that actually works just fine. And then you may come in and say, well, I wanna maybe further refine the contrast so you can make those adjustments, season to taste, and even perhaps lift the exposure. Now keep in mind, that's gonna impact everything getting brighter, which includes the highlights. So, so you can see that red is growing. So use that as a visual indicator. But the other thing that you can do is come in with super contrast because that adjusts contrast in specific tonal areas. For me here, I'm not worried about midtones. It's highlights and shadows that really need the work. So maybe I come in and adjust the highlights. And you can see as I drag more highlights contrast that obviously the sky is getting darker, but there's less red. So this is just a kind of a delicate dance, as I like to say, a little bit of a balancing act. Uh, I'm going to come in and adjust shadows and you can kind of see what's happening uh, here is just going to help me kind of massage that light for lack of a better word. I like to leave a little bit of that red and a little bit of that blue like I said to give me a little bit of a dose of reality for example but there's super contrast and there it is now so what I've been able to do to this photo is take it from that to that in a couple of moves. Let me turn off the clipping indicators. And I've got a pretty well balanced photo using that J key overlay to give me, uh, use as kind of a guide in my editing so that I can balance the light. And that's always the first step in my edit. Get the light balance before I come in and do targeted specific things like I want to adjust colors here. It's a little bit of a color cast that's very blue. I want to warm it up. There's a lot of different things I want to do to this photo, but I start by balancing the light and I use the J key indicators to help me really make sure I'm targeting and adjusting the light properly and ensuring that I don't really have a lot of blown highlights or crushed shadows. That's how it works, my friends. There's another quick tip. Hope it helps. Thanks for watching. Adios.